Hey guys, Carl here. Today I'm going to be talking about some vintage lenses and adapting them to my Sony FX6 and A7S III and the A6000. I love these lenses. They are super inexpensive, have great bokeh and characteristics and color, and they're just, they're great. So without further ado, the Pentax came out lenses. I have three of these guys. I have the 50 millimeter F1.4, the 50 millimeter F1.7, and the 28 millimeter F2.8 with the adapter of the KNF Concept PK to NEX adapter. And they're anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks for one of these lenses. They're, they just, they look amazing. They look uh, really good. The color out of them is awesome. The aperture is great. And I'm gonna kind of talk about the positives and negatives of running a vintage lens like this. So let's get into it. First thing I'm going to talk about is the aperture of these guys. So they're all going to be pretty fast aperture, f1.4, 1.7, and 2.8. And what I did is I took off the back end of them, this the uh, mount, the bayonet mount area, and I declicked them. So right off the bat, I can just have a smooth. That's up by the mic. You can't hear it click. You can hear the stops. That's all you got. So I took out the little marble in there that makes it clickable and it changes them up automatically. It makes them very uh, video friendly and photo friendly. It doesn't really change anything as far as uh, photo goes. You just don't have your clicks for each aperture, which you don't really need personally. You don't really need. And uh, it just makes it nice to be able to do aperture pulls or if you want to just adjust something without getting that noise in your video. It's pretty cool, or that click. Every time you adjust your f-stop, you can see it change step by step. So boom, 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 boom. Well, with, but the nice thing about this is it's just a nice smooth pull from one side to the other, so you can see it getting darker or lighter without those individual stops in there. So that's uh, number one cool thing about these lenses. Number two, it's size and weight. These guys are almost like pancake lenses. They're so tiny in the hand and you can see they're just very small and very lightweight. They are made of metal, uh, so they do have a little bit of like a weight to them that you can feel them there, but they're not gonna be some crazy heavy lens that's gonna change up the way your body feels in your hand or whatnot. As far as photo or, or video goes, walking around with these lenses, it's a breeze because they're just so small and packing away two of them is pretty easy to do. If I want a 50 and a 28, I have both of them right there and it's easy to just adjust those as need be on the fly. Let's talk about the color and the overall picture, the way they look. So they are vintage lenses and it does, uh, one caveat with vintage lenses is you have to find a good one. I'm lucky enough that both of these didn't have any haze or fog or any kind of fungus in them. They were just clean and clear looking. Uh, there's no pock marks on any of the glass. They're great. This one has a a little bit of looseness in it. I gotta tighten that up. But besides that, it they're they're all three of them are just solid, which says something because these guys are from the 1970s and 80s. So having you know lived that long, they're in great shape for what they are. Usually kept in cases, I think, along the way. None of them have any crazy scratches or anything on them. So pretty cool. The actual image look, since they are vintage, is a little bit more of that like. You know, you're going to see some imperfections in it. You're going to see some chromatic aberration, uh, some vignetting. Um, 50 millimeter, pretty sharp lens actually. Uh, the 28 is a little bit softer. At wide open, they're the softest. They're, they're super soft. I mean, you get that kind of like dreamy look almost to, to them a little bit, especially with the 50 millimeter f1.4. This thing has some like really pronounced bokeh. Uh, it's like a, a hexagon shape. And I, I, I personally like it. I think it looks pretty good. It's just a big piece of glass on this f1.4 lens. And I really like the f1.4. The f1.7, the f1.7 is pretty cool too. And if I just want to do these two lenses, there are a couple of pancakes. They're basically the same size. So 50 millimeter and 28 millimeter, uh, 1.7 and 2.8. I think they're, they're awesome though. As far as color goes, they render color pretty well. Uh, you're gonna get a little bit more of that reddish, yellow, orangish out of them. If I'm just looking at the waveform or my color scope, you're gonna see a little bit more of that red, yellow, orange hue to them. But besides that, they're they're pretty clean and clear. I haven't had any negatives about the color that comes out of these. I really do like the way they look. So 
Yeah. They're great. They do have a 49 millimeter filter thread on them, so you can adapt, you know, any kind of ND if you're running just a standard like Sony body, or you could put on there like circular polarizers or any any kind of filter. There's, I've got tons of like blue, red, yellow filters uh, for these, so they're they're pretty neat. The feel in the hand is they're very metal. Uh, both the aperture and focus rings are metal and they feel metal. They feel robust and like they're not going to have any, you know, nothing's going anywhere. The K mount, it's whatever. It's not anything special if you run it with the adapter. So if you run it with the adapter, you just put it on there and it does add a little bit of weight and a little bit of length to it, but not much. Still basically pancake. Then let's just say you take your A6000 or your A7R5 or A7S3, whatever camera you're using. Uh, there's adapters for everything from Canon, Sony, Nikon, Leica. You can adapt any of these lenses to pretty much anything with one of these adapters. They're, they're awesome. But as you can see, like on the A6000, if you just want to carry around a little camera all day, that's pretty good. It's a little front heavy. That 1.4 is a little bit heavier. Um, I'm sorry, this is the 28. That 28 is a little bit heavier than some of the other plasticky feeling lenses, but overall, this is a great little setup if you're just gonna go walk around all day and, and use it. It's it's cheap. You know, this setup right here for A6000 with this lens and the adapter, probably gonna be sitting somewhere in that like $500 range. So you can get a great camera with really good video, really good photo capabilities with a nice, you know, a couple nice lenses for probably under 600 bucks. Um, highly recommend these little guys. They're really fun, really cool. And uh, that's really all I have to say about them. Make sure you leave me a comment down below and if you have any questions about these guys and check them out. I'll leave a couple links to some Ebays and some used ones you can find at like KH or other places also. So check it out below. Uh, give a thumbs up if you like this video, maybe subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.